Hello everyone, what is up? Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day today. We're going to be talking about what's happening with XRP in the XRP community. As we can see from LUD XRP, XRP USD to compare 2017 versus 2020. Now we can see volume, volume right there. We should be getting more volume soon, a lot of more volume. We can see this pattern right here. We should be breaking out of this pattern very soon, guys. Look how close we are. I mean, it awfully looks very similar, even though we're taking more time in the 2020 uh, than 2017, but it looks similar. Now, guys, before we jump into the news, I'd like to state I'm not a financial advisor, nor this is financial advice, but this is just for entertainment value only. We can see here from the Crypto Poet, revolutions rarely happen by going to the endpoint first. Instead, you have to crawl, walk, then run. I think that the progress Ripple is making for the industry is moving the whole revolution forward. Brad Garlinghouse, CEO of Ripple, let's watch this video. Right. But, you know, look, I, I then and even now think, you know, some of the consumer use case that had a lot of the excitement and energy in 2015 when I joined Ripple, I felt was early and premature. And so, you know, Ripple... And as you know, I mean, Ripple is a little bit of a contrarian uh, or a lot of a contrarian and kind of saying, look, we don't think governments are going away. We don't think banks are going away. We don't think fiat currency is going away. But we still think there's a role for digital assets to play in reducing friction and accelerating the speed and reducing costs associated with payments. So uh, I, you know, when I started to talk to Chris Larson, they were recruiting to hire somebody as COO. Uh, being a Bitcoin enthusiast or crypto enthusiast married with, I thought, a very pragmatic vision uh, of how you actually bring this forward. And revolution revolutions rarely happen by going to the end point first. Instead, it's, you know, it's a crawl. I use the expression internally about crawl, walk, run. And, you know, you got to crawl before you walk, before you run. And I think uh, the progress Ripple's making for the industry uh, is, you know, I think, moving the whole revolution forward one there you go guys crawl walk then run so step by step guys remember next week comes from bank xrp the co-founder of gsr is working on beachhead here's my thread on beachhead and the implementation of ripple if interested so this was all the way back from 2018 let's watch this video what makes beachhead different to to other virtual reality games is that there's this marketplace underpinning it that's powered by decentralized crypto economics. It's relatively easy for gamers to purchase digital assets within the games. This is a huge revenue stream for, for the gaming companies and this is only going to keep growing. Um, the problem that these gamers have is, yes, it's easy to purchase that laser sword. Some people spend thousands of dollars on something like that. Once you're done with that sword, there isn't really a resale market for it. Or if there is, the only bid you're going to find for your $2,000 sword is now $200 on some shady forum, some guy you've never met. When you do decide to sell it for 200 bucks, his PayPal payment never came through, and you just got scammed. I guess it was a natural next step to use a Ripple protocol to allow the, the users or the citizens of, of Beachhead to trade these, these different digital assets. My main role within the Beachhead project has to do with market making. I'm gonna be building and maintaining liquid markets for any number of different crosses. Within Beachhead, um, GSR is going to be making markets on the Beachhead token against all the digital assets that are offered within the game. In parallel, we also have to make liquid markets between the Beachhead token and all the other crypto assets that exist currently, XRP, Bitcoin, Ether, etc. And, and by doing that and having gateways connected to, we're making markets on a synthetic digital asset within Beachhead against Bitcoin and such and such exchange cross. Eventually, as, as we connect more pools of liquidity in other games um, via Ripple, effectively what we're going to be doing is making markets between digital assets across different games. We hope that by, by building liquidity within Beachhead and then extending this through the Ripple gateways to these other pools of liquidity that exist in the gaming world, Beachhead will, will essentially become a nexus for all of these digital assets that currently exist in, in silos across the gaming world. We want the gamers to be able to exchange a lightsaber from one game for a movie ticket in the Beachhead virtual reality movie theater. And we want that exchange to be instant, secure, transparent, and almost free. There you go, secure, instant. 
you know, transparent and almost free, guys. Next week comes from David Schwartz. Figured out why my driveway lights aren't working. This is the back of the GFCI. Now we can see here. Remember, he posts random, you know, photos and pictures. Now if we go down here, you know, there's so many people like trying to decode what's happening. We can see here possible XRP burn incoming. XRP Jackson, we can see here Bank of Egypt will use blockchain technology for remittance process. Everyone will use XRP. There you go, guys. More news, you know, more progression towards everyone using XRP. So that's very good. Next is from Major Tom XRP. We can see here he was a smart man ahead of his time from old painless. We can see here XRP. The thing about smart, you know, is they sound like crazy too dumb and you guys can see so there's a quote from iso xrp an important announcement to all xrp holders please make sure to take the time to get fitted into your space suit properly before moon time okay so this is just more like a fun tweet we could see here here's what will happen to an exposed human in space let's watch this video what would happen if you went to space without a space suit whatever you do don't hold your breath. The vacuum of space will pull the air from your body. So if there's air left in your lungs, they'll rupture. Oxygen in the rest of your body will also expand. You'll balloon up to twice your normal size, but you won't explode. Your skin is elastic enough to hold you together. Any exposed liquid on your body will begin to vaporize. So the surface of your tongue and eyes will boil. Without air in your lungs, blood will stop sending oxygen to your brain. You'll pass out after about 15 seconds. 90 seconds after exposure, you'll die from asphyxiation. It's also very cold in space. You'll eventually freeze solid. Depending on where you are in space, this will take 12 to 26 hours. But if you're close to a star, you'll be burnt to a crisp instead. Either way, your body will remain that way for a long time. Gut bacteria will start to eat you from the inside out, but not for long. So you will decompose very slowly. You could be floating in space unchanged for millions of years. Who knows, maybe an advanced alien race will discover you. So there you go guys, remember to wear your spacesuit properly guys before moon time now guys we're to the fun part of xrp in the xrp community we can see here this is quite interesting xrp 2022 you know the global reset has officially started gold standard digital currencies stock market crash they blame coronavirus it's all been planned so is it all planned guys coronavirus remember there's lots of, you know, agendas going around. Next week comes from Reborn, and there it is again. You haven't seen anything, so this is quite interesting. We can see here, look at that, guys, the black dots on the eyes. So that's, and then it connects to this right here. Remember David Schwartz, all of this. So that is very interesting. It's from Rom the Weird. Almost time, one more day. The suspense, this will be interesting. How many unfollow when it's wrong and how many will follow when it's right? This is my call ahead of time. I know the answer, so find out tomorrow. He posted right here. Here's my prediction. 50-50 chances. February 23rd, 2020. Sunday night we go. So guys, tomorrow. We'll have to watch out very closely to what happens. Next week comes from Funny Teacups. We can see here new moon, new rocket moon. We can see here this picture of Mr. Pool. And then look at that, guys. February 23rd. So guys, it's con it's actually connecting. So tomorrow we'll have to watch out what happens. Now this is quite interesting. Next week comes from Baba Cux. We can see here Marvin. Everything is planned. Well, look at that. Will COVID nineteen lead to a gold standard? So coronavirus. Everything's connecting, guys. Everything's connecting. Everything is in here. Think wisely. The plan that Ripple has for XRP are moving faster and faster, and I know you all see it. It's a shame so many people don't even know what is happening. We are here at the forefront of a new age, and when the bear looks up at a beautiful golden sun and blue skies, he thanks God for this opportunity for people worldwide to take advantage of this chance to buy XRP. So. We can see there, remember, so many things is happening for XRP, guys. Everything's moving faster and faster. Now, the final tip for today's video comes from Mr. Pool. Look at this. 
this tweet right here, guys. Now people were trying to decode Jane and Dalton overnight. So we can see their new moon, 23rd February. So guys, this is all coming to plan. We can see everyone trying to decode it. But this is all, in my opinion, coming together overnight, guys. We'll have to watch out for February 23rd tomorrow. So I'll keep you guys posted what happens tomorrow as well. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did, please leave a like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. I'll see you guys in my next video. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. And yeah, guys, see ya.